What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. While you're here, smash those likes and hit the follow button. It's so free and great to support the channel. And it looks like we got XRP coming in at 50 cents. But before we begin, make sure y'all head over to TikTok and give me a follow too. I go live there. I've been going, I used to go live every day, but I'm going to pick that back up. Make sure y'all give me a follow there. It's called TV with Trey. But there are a lot of things happening right now. Um, of course, uh Solana went out. Uh for almost five hours and it hadn't even been a full 365 days before that went out it went out uh, la last year april of 2023 for two days that is insane but look there are some things happening and of course the secretary of treasury um urged congress to do something when it comes to digital assets that are not securities let's watch that video real quick council is focused on digital assets and related risks such as runs such as from runs on crypto asset platforms and stable coins, potential vulnerabilities from crypto asset price volatility, and the proliferation of platforms acting outside of or out of compliance with applicable laws and regulations. Applicable rules and regulations should be enforced, and Congress should pass legislation to provide for the regulation of stable coins and of the spot market for crypto assets that are not securities. We look forward to continuing to engage with Congress on this. With this overview, I look forward to taking your questions on these. And now, if since the treasury is saying okay you need to do something about this and you need to do something about this quick that means we could be seeing more lawsuits going out for other digital assets now there's two digital assets right now that we know that are not securities and that's bitcoin and that's um xrp because xrp was deemed uh, not a security uh just last year and of course bitcoin and the sec have already said that bitcoin is a commodity and it will be ruled on other cftc but now there is an exception for two more what are those two? That's Ethereum. Even though I kind of disagree with this, Ethereum um, has already been said by the former SEC chairman, Jay Clayton, that Ethereum is a commodity. It was like a security back in the day when it was an ICO, which unfortunately, yes, it was an ICO. But now it is considered in a, it is considered a commodity. Now, Gary Gensler made the hint that anytime somebody has staking like characteristics on a crypto or on a blockchain and it gets locked up that it is considered a security well what did eve and the eve alliance do and the e foundation go ahead and do they went and finally got that new upgrade i think it was shanghai did the upgrade and now staking um you can you, you now don't have to lock up your eth for staking now that that second possibility is litecoin litecoin is a direct hard fork of the bitcoin protocol uh, that runs on a different type of algorithm bitcoin runs on sha 256 litecoin runs on script so those four are safe what other digital assets will be considered safe because right now the way that it's looking it's the original four right what there used to be five it used to be bitcoin litecoin namecoin xrp and then ethereum it used to be those five but namecoin is still trading but you know can we really talk about namecoin right now right let's be honest all right moving on so again this um linkedin post was from the senior director head of product marketing payments of ripple now he goes out by saying that there's um building and that they're growing and there's going to be more news coming out when it comes to ripple's money transmitter license now What's so very interesting is that there's also someone else coming out, uh, Sean McBride. And let's go look up to see Sean McBride. Um, he was um, ex Google, ex Amazon and ex Ripple. Now, this tweet that he goes off by saying is big news is coming from Ripple and XRP in the next couple days. That was 20 hours ago that like I've said before, things seem slow before it starts moving fast. Now, this came out. And for those that don't know, and I'm going to tell you, uh, the AMM feature has um, is now continue voting. It was at 80 percent. Now it's at 71 percent. Some believe that it was due to a bug. And I don't necessarily believe that it was due to a bug. Um, for the, Let's look at it. The automatic market maker um, adds 
creates this feature to the ledger in a way that is in that is integrated with the existing decentralized exchange each pair of assets tokens of xrp can have up to one automated market maker in the ledger which anyone can contribute liquidity for a proportional for a proportional share in the earnings and exchange rates risk each amm instance has a special account to hold its assets and issue lp tokens uh, to liquidity providers in, pro in proportion to their deposits Liquidity providers can vote on the AMM's trading fee based on their share of LP tokens. User can, users can bid LP tokens on the right to trade with a discounted trading fee for a limited period of time. This allows you to be your own bank. This allows you to be your own banking system and you don't earn staking rewards. You earn passive incomes off of the trading fees that goes back and forth on a decentralized exchange. You become the liquidity provider is your own banking system. This is the transactions that it adds. Read it right here. You can read it all. And the reason why it's not because there was a bug in the system. Of course, there's a bug. There was a bug in the system and it had to halt. It was supposed to come out on February 14th. Um, I guess you can call it the love bug, but it was halted. There was a voting uh, going on by the SEC. Uh, was was it was in 2022 about broker dealers and anybody that provides some type of liquidity has to apply for a broker dealership well the sec just actually came made that come into almost make that come into effect as of february 6th which is today the sec adopts rules to include certain significant market participants as dealers or governments uh or government securities dealers now what this means is Let's read it. The Securities and Exchange Commission today adopted two rules that require market participants to engage in certain dealer rules, in particular those who take a significant liquidity providing roles in the market. So you see what they're doing? Because this rule specifies that individuals like me, you or anybody else that's trading crypto assets, quote unquote securities, because they call everything digital asset securities that's within the DeFi market that's exactly what it is like you're providing liquidity to decentralized exchange pools and you're and you're earning passive income off of those trading fees um well it's really ironic that the sec will actually adopt this rule within 60 days well what's so interesting about that is the automated market maker by way of xls 30d that allows passive income off of those trading fees by way of decentralized exchanges a way of DeFi, then be classified as dealers now the the term dealers is so broad and they need to expand on the term of dealers so much because that could mean anything right um but then one will say that the rule specifies as individuals trading in crypto asset securities within the DeFi market must register as dealer or government securities dealers. What does that mean? Right? Like anybody that's looking at that word is going to say, well, what is that? Right? That's what the SEC does. They make it to where it's not clear at all. They've been doing that for some time and that needs to change. Right? They are attacking the DeFi ecosystem so much because they want to protect their friends that are bankers. It's point blank period. And when Chair Gary Gensler got into office, he said he was tech neutral. This doesn't look like it's tech neutral to me. This looks like he wants to destroy crypto and its ecosystem and anything relating to the crypto ecosystem. Whether it's not a Bitcoin spot ETF, whether it's DeFi, whether it's considered an XRP a security when we know XRP is not a security. It's always something going on. Anytime we take one giant step for the crypto world, we get hit five steps back. So, yeah, I think this is very interesting because literally anytime somebody provides liquidity, they could be considered dealers. Look right here the automated market maker functionality to ledger in a to the ledger in a way that it's integrated with existing decentralized exchange each pair of assets tokens or xrp can have up to one amm in the ledger 
And let's go down. Each a each AMM instance has a special account to hold its assets and issues LP tokens to liquidity providers in proportion to their deposits. Liquidity providers can vote on the AMM's trading fee based on their share of LP tokens. It's right there. And the fact that this comes out and starts within 60 days and the automate and the automated market maker was supposed to happen, what, seven to eight days. And now it's halted because of a bug, which is fine. I'm calling that the lug bug, y'all, because this is supposed to come out, I think it was on February 14th. But now it's halted, but it's going to pick back up once the bug is found. But could this play a major role in the next steps of the automated market maker by way of calling everybody else dealers? I'm going to keep an eye on this because why would they make a rule for this knowing that there's about to be big market growth when it comes to Ripple and the money transmitter license as well as big news coming from Ripple and XRP in the next couple of days. Why would they do that? Because they still do not like, and they still are, um, they're not tech neutral. They do not like crypto. They do not want the money to be taken from them. They do not want more wealth to be generated. That's what I'm gathering from it. But moving on, I just wanted to let y'all know, I thought that was very interesting. This is DeFi education fund Twitter that talks about how they need to expand the definition of dealer, which could cause a lot of issues for everybody in the crypto ecosystem, especially the automated market maker. Moving on. Now we got some interesting news and some amazing news when it comes to the Ethereum blockchain and Ether in itself. Uh, domain registry GoDaddy and ENS domains reached an agreement to allow users to link their internet domain names with their ENS names. This is bullish for ethereum of course the main chain right now is ethereum but they're slowly slowly but surely branching away you know we got a bitcoin spot etf we're going to get a ethereum spot etf and then we're going to branch away to digitization and tokenization and you already know who's in that category all right y'all that'll do it for me please make sure you hit the like and the follow button if you made it this far uh, looks like the crypto market is trying to pick back up and again make sure you follow me over at TikTok. once i get my live back i go live i'm going to start going live every single day make sure you follow me here to stay locked in and i will see you and everybody else on the next one peace